It's Entomology Animated, celebrating the amazing biology of insects using the power of digital animation. Ding! Hey there, this is Eric Keller for Entomology Animated. So I've decided to start a new project. This is a rainbow scarab beetle. I'm in ZBrush 2018 using the Sculptor's Pro mode, which allows me to kind of just pull out geometry and it updates the, uh, the uh, desolation of it while I pull the parts out so I'm kind of using a combination of Dynamesh and uh, Sculptors Pro so I'm just getting used to the new features here in ZBrush 2018 but it's really cool because you can see I pulled out that horn so this is a male obviously because males have the big horns it's a dung beetle uh, so they have really crazy features but I just kind of pulled that geometry right out of the head and smoothed it out and now I'm just refining parts of the head. And the cool thing about Sculptor's, Mo, uh, Sculptor's Pro is it just adds the detail right where you sculpt it, right where you brush. So you don't have to constantly re if you don't want to. Uh, it's a really cool feature. So I'm kind of blocking everything out as, as two big blobs, the, the, uh, the main body and the head. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break these blobs out into separate subtools. So I've uh, cut out the abdomen here and now I'm just kind of refining this and kind of figuring out where the divisions are, the turgites on the abdomen. Uh, I used only photographic reference that I found online because I don't have a specimen of, I don't have this uh, specimen in my collection. So that makes it a challenge because I have to kind of interpret 3D forms from two-dimensional images and kind of basing it on the beetles that I've done in the past. So um, for the top of the model and the sides, that, was, that worked pretty well. For the bottom is a little bit of a challenge because it's hard to find out, you know, or see from the images where, like, you know, the coxa fit in exactly into the into the uh, thorax. But um, I did find some good images of just the legs separated from the body, so that worked out pretty well. So kind of just blocking out the legs here, and I'm using Dynamesh and just kind of duplicating spheres and kind of just shaping them. So this is the front leg here, and these things are really wild looking. They have this kind of goofy, cartoonish, leaf-like shape to them that's, that's really adorable. All the images of this beetle make it look just unbelievably cute. Um, it's one of the cutest bugs I've ever seen. Um, it also kind of looks like a dinosaur. It looks like a triceratops. Well, it only has one horn, so it's not a triceratops, but it has that kind of quality to it. It has this weird kind of scoopy feature in the, in the front. And you can see how the eyes there, those, those dark gray spheres of the eyes, and the head sort of, you know, the, the parts of the head kind of fit around the eyes so you can see above the eye and below it. So this is the antenna here that I'm working out, just blocking out and duplicating these spheres and kind of shaping them and pulling it out. So I had nice reference on the, the overall shape of the antenna, but I kind of had to fudge it a little bit as to how they fit into the head. So I'm hoping to refine that a little bit and get some better reference. So now I'm just kind of shaping the legs a little bit more, adding some detail, using a little clay polish to kind of clean it up. And, uh, and, and all of these parts, this is gonna seem like overkill, but all of these parts I'm gonna take into Maya, retopologize, bring back into ZBrush and refine even more. So like I was working on the detail here for the elytra and I wasn't super happy with, with the technique that I came up with. It kind of took a lot of noodling around to get exactly what I wanted. And it's still not quite there, but I'm gonna have another you know, chance to refine it even more when I bring in the redone ge geometry uh, from Maya. So it's not unusual for me to like take a piece of, a, of an insect and just keep refining it and redoing it and redoing it and redoing it until I'm really happy with it. Uh, because, you know, i got to be happy with it, otherwise it'll just drive me crazy and keep me up at night. Doing a little bit of detail work here. A little bit hard to see in this version, but what I'm hoping is that eventually I'm going to paint this, probably in Substance Painter or maybe Marmoset, and uh, I'm going to export it uh, in, in a 3D viewer. So either Sketchfab or Marmoset or something like that, whatever works best so that I'm hoping that the colors, the rainbow colors that are on the surface will help to make these details much more apparent. Uh, so that's a little bit down the road. But here is the beetle so far. Uh, so this is kind of like the first stage of the process. 
And if you want to see more detail on how I, you know, really get into working with these or creating these models, I do have a video on the Noman Workshop that I released just last year uh, on hyper-realistic insect uh, sculpting and design. And I talk a lot about these techniques in depth. So you can check that out on the Noman Workshop. But this is just kind of a quick video just to kind of to show my overall process. So that's stage one and coming up next, I'll go into Maya and show you how I kind of do a quick retopology of this.